there, Tiffany here with Years of Ears, and it's this day in Disney for May 31st. And today we get to talk about a topic that actually with this time of year here in Florida is pretty important and uh, something we all think about because hurricane season is just beginning or soon to begin. And back on in 1985, a very intelligent man was born, George Rippey Stewart. He was a novelist and a professor, professor of English at the University of California. And he is born in Suwickley, Pennsylvania. So his greatest interest in and knowledge of ecological sciences led him to write Storm in 1941. And this is the first ever ecological novel and it was dramatized as a storm called Maria on a 1959 episode of Disney's television series. So why this is so important and why Stewart's book was so important was because this is when the National Weather Service, well, from his book, um, in the, you know, after, during and after World War II, they started uh, naming or giving uh, personal names to storms. So it was really from his uh, writings and interest in, um, you know, storms and ecological events. So, before that, they weren't really naming storms the way that they do now. So very, very interesting. And of course, Disney had its own, um, you know, show of it back in 1959 on, um, you know, the Disneyland t television series, The Storm Called Maria. I couldn't find it anywhere and I don't believe you can find it anywhere to watch. Hopefully someday this will be something that is on Disney Plus or maybe Disney will do a different channel that just has classic stuff on it which I would really love <laughs> but something like this um, you can't really find right now. Maybe you guys saw it back in the day and I'd love to hear in the comments if you did see it because I was reading someone's comment on this who actually did see the 1959 version and said that they you know were highly impacted by this episode and that they hadn't really seen storms the way they did and I mean it was such a perfect documentary of um, how storms affect areas, how the National Weather Service and meteorologists try to warn people and let them know that storms are coming, how some people listen, how some people might be on vacation and don't change their plans. And, you know, things happen that aren't, that don't go well. And then other people are warned and they take precautions and are protected. So it's such an important subject and it had been become more important because of George Rippey Stewart. And he just, he wrote this book and it's not just that he created names for storms, it was also you know, the content of the book and um, the interest and, and kind of the timeline. He took people from different, um, you know, scenarios in life, um, like um, a telephone operator, like the wiring operator, or, um, you know, the city planner, different people who had to deal with the effects of a storm. And he went through, the, the storm went through basically starting in California and ending up in Japan. And everything that it took to warn people and help them to understand um, the effects and what would happen once the storm actually, um, you know, hit its full potential and could be its most harmful. And so that wasn't something that was really being done before um, his book. <laughs> so I think it's cool that Disney did the, the TV show off of it as well and gave people a lot of knowledge about um, storms and, and how they can affect their town or whatnot and hopefully gave more awareness to, to maybe listen to the weatherman or, or pay attention, um, you know, because back then it's not like everybody knew exactly what was going to happen all the time with storms and how dangerous they could be because there wasn't as television was really just around for such a short period and you would hear stuff in the news you know but not necessarily all over the world like we know now and so really education and understanding for storms has really grown over the years um what's really cool about stewart 
um, excuse me, yes, <laughs> George Stewart as well, is that he um, was a toponymist. He was really fascinated with names. He actually, um, and that's partly why, you know, they started naming <laughs> storms after giving them actual names, but also he is um, was the founding member of the American Name Society. Very, very interesting. You can go check that out online if you've never heard of the American Name Society, but they kind of research and understand how names start and how, why people have the names that they have and then how they kind of get less popular. So I thought that was interesting too, just to add in there. Really, really smart guy and so cool to, to learn about his Disney connection. So that's it for this day in Disney and we'll see you guys next time.